Yesterday's slinky becomes today's super armor. They're gonna shoot right now. Fire in the hole! So many different kinds of steel. Over 3,500 in all. Carbon steel, stainless steel, chromium steel, electrical steel. Yet every type of steel is made from the same material. Iron and carbon. Other elements are added to create different steel alloys, but the basic recipe is the same. It's been transformed into these super tough, high hardness steel plates. Next, they roll the recycled steel into sheets, pressure and heat treat it, and cut it into plates. The infusion of chromium and nickel, plus the extra pressure and heat treatment, creates a completely different alloy. A super steel that's more rigid and shock resistant. Perfect for armor plating. To find out how strong it really is, I've come to Alpine Armoring here in Dallas, Texas. Oh, look at the size of this monster. Hey, um, you think I can drive? Sure, I'll take shotgun. All right. Attention, fun fact to know and tell. The term to fit shotgun comes from the armored cars of the Wild West, when a guard would ride on top of a stagecoach armed with a shotgun. End of transmission. This is a smooth ride. How fast does this thing go? Get it up to uh, 80 miles, 90 miles an hour. So what's this truck that we're in? This is a SWAT truck, as you can see, is built for the law enforcement police community in case they need to go after some cases that require attention. Yeah. How many tons of steel are in this vehicle? Well, believe it or not, you're driving a 12-ton truck. I know it doesn't feel like it, but there's a lot of steel there. Is the steel especially made to be bulletproof, or do you just get it as thick as you can? Oh, absolutely. This is not your regular steel at all half-inch steel all around the opaque area, roof, floor, sides. This is a hardened ballistic steel. What's the difference between this vehicle and an armored car that's used to protect cash? A typical armored cash-carrying truck that we all see every day in the street looks like a very comprehensively armored truck, but essentially it's a level A3, A4, which means stops handguns. So on the level of A1 to A10? This is A10. It's a smooth ride. I can feel the inertia from this 12 tons of steel that I'm wrapped in. And yet, Fred, how do you know for sure that this thing will stop bullets? Well, Daniel, if you don't mind, right after you're finished driving, we're going to stop and shoot this truck with you and I in it. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in. I'm cool. I don't have any problem with that. What are they going to shoot at the vehicle? Oh, you don't want to know. That's why I'm about to risk my life to test the limits of steel. Now I'm going to put my life on the line to see if steel can stop bullets. So apparently Fred was serious about us getting shot at while we were in this armored vehicle. Fire in the hole! They're, uh, gonna shoot now. They're gonna shoot right now. My survival depends on how much kinetic energy this steel armor can absorb. Should I be nervous? Let's rewind for a second. The bullet travels at 3,200 feet per second. That's almost 2,200 miles an hour. All that energy will be instantly released on impact. The bullet mushrooms, deforming as its energy transforms to heat. Why does that happen? Well, as you recall from Louis Samurai Workshop and the recycling plant, heat softens steel and causes it to expand. The steel absorbs all of the bullet's kinetic energy. I'm still here.
surprised? Uh, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I, for instance, wasn't shot, as far as I can tell. 